What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use Meta Sounds. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and go to Edit Plugins, search for Meta Sound, and we have to enable this plugin. Now with the new 5.1, it will be automatically enabled, so there you go. You have to restart the editor when you go ahead and enable it if you don't have it already. Okay, so now what we have to do is go into the content browser, we can right click, go to sounds, and you will see a meta sound source. So this is what we're going to go ahead and create. We're gonna get the new out and just put, put for example, tutorial underscore meta sound. Now, of course, you can put whatever name, it used to have something. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Now, you will see that it looks really familiar, basically like a blueprints or maybe a material notes. It's like a mixture for me. So basically, let's cover up a bit of the UI and basically how it works. So the main things over here are just the source. You can change the volume, the pitch. Uh, you can put some attenuation settings. I do have a nice tutorial on that. So if you want to check it out, I will be linking in the description. Then we have more things as different pass processing effects, etc. That's you don't have to worry right now. But basically, in source, you have the main settings of the medicine. Next up, in the actual, um, you know, screen, <laughs> you will see three different notes. Firstly, we have the input node, which is basically it will just continue when it plays this meta sound. Very easy. Just it's like the begin play, okay, of the meta sound. Then we will have the output and another output. So this output is the actual sound output so this is where the sound will come off and this output is just basically a trigger to detect when the meta sound has finished uh reproducing you will see it better in just a second okay so basically today i'm just gonna teach the basics of the meta uh, meta sounds not the advanced stuff and how you can make synth waves over here you know literally the simplest things about the meta sound just to get familiar with it Okay, so the most useful note for meta, uh, meta sounds, and the the one that you're gonna use a lot is gonna be play wave player. So we will have some options over here. We have stereo, quad, mono. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it simple. You say mono as by default is also our output. So you will also uh, always need to basically match up your notes with your output. Okay, so what this does is just basically place the sound so for example we can choose um i don't know explosion as it's one that we will basically notice very easily then we have some you know uh options over here as the pitch the start time it's gonna loop a uh, loop start loop duration things like that and then all the outputs um so what you would do is basically always plug the unfinished trigger into the output and unfinished so the meta sound will know when it has stopped actually playing the sound and then you will get the out mono and then just plug it in into the in, uh, output of the mono too so if now i were to go ahead and play the sound you will see that it actually played the sound so this is really cool we already have the first meta sound going ahead playing of course this is the extreme basics but this is basically how a meta sound works in its core functions so what you can do is also go ahead and now play another sound after, for example, this one has finished. So we can get the note and we can just say play wave player mono. And then we can, for example, say to play and play in editor. And then what you can do is get the output down over here. As now we'll want to uh, tell the meta sound that it will stop playing when the second one has stopped. As first of all, we're getting this one, then this one. And the next thing that we have to do is go down, get the mono, and just put it over here. So the thing is that we cannot plug two monos, sorry, two outputs into one node of an output. What we have to do is basically create a mixer. So let's get one of the outputs over here, and let's say just mixer. And we have a lot of different mixers. So we'll be using a mono mixer, and then you have the number of different um, outputs that you're gonna be basically plugging in. In my case, it's just two. 
So let's go ahead and create this and then the output will go into here and now it will basically be able to mix them in and we can go ahead and plug in the other one on here. It's an easy way of just having different outputs and just one mixer and then being able to output it. So and now we were to press play, the first sound plays and then the second sound plays and you can see that it automatically stopped. If I were to get the unfinished note out, if I press play, apart from having an error, it will play the second one, but it will still be reproducing. And like I said, it gives us, well, not an error, but a warning, which is not what we want. So we always want to plug this on finish or whatever is what we want. Okay, so let me tell you how you can go ahead and play this meta sound from a blueprint. Let's go ahead and go into, for example, our third person character blueprint something simple and let's go ahead into one side say for example when we press the um, K key over here or for example C okay when we press C we'll go ahead and play a sound so we just go ahead and control space to open our cont browser and we can just go ahead and drag it into a blueprint and then we'll plug it in in on pressed and it'll basically play that sound so we can now go ahead and go say press play now if I were to Press C. It will go ahead and play the sound. So that's it, guys. That's the core of meta sounds. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if it was, I really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one. So if you want to check them out, go ahead. And I uh, guess with all said, bye bye.